Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We are at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany. Brought to you by Bravant. And right now we're with Eric Raby of Kloss. Eric, how's it going? Very well, very well. Glad you're here and glad to be with you today. Yeah, this is a pretty exciting machine that we have behind us. It's the Zerion 5000. Uh, tell us about it. Well, the Zerion family, we've had in North America since 2014. Um, and we have that in three different models, all the way up to 530 horsepower. But one of the things that we've been asking for, uh, especially from the Canadian market, is we'd like to see tracks. And given our history on track combines, uh, we just introduced a, a, a track a fixed frame tractor on the 900 series Zerion, and we just also introduced tracks on our Jaguar forage harvester. It only made sense, and, and all excuses had run out to say, okay, it's time for us to have tracks on the Zerion. Now, a lot of times when I see these, uh, you know, large 500 horsepower tractors with uh, four tracks on them. I think quad track, you, but we, we don't call it that. No, no, no. We just call it our track system that's on our Claw Syrian tractor. So on this machine, actually, and you probably can't see it from this angle, uh, but we have tires on one side and track on the other. And that's not the operating mode that we want to have, but it's just to show people the variability and the flexibility that we have between some people still wanting wheel configurations and other people wanting track configurations. But one of the unique things that we have that nobody else has is this machine is fixed frame. It's not articulated. Oh. Now it competes in the same segment, it has the same characteristics, same pulling power, hydraulic capacity, all that, but it's fixed frame with steering front and rear axles. So I think I remember going back to Agritechnica two years ago, you released a new uh, track steering system uh, that allows for that kind of capability, right? Right, we had uh, two things that we introduced at the last Agritechnica. One is our regular standard tracker, so that's trackers that go from 180 up to 440 horsepower. We introduced a track system on the back for those, and that was a suspended track system. But then at the same time, we also introduced tracks for our forage harvester that is also suspended, but it also has the ability for the tracks to smile. So you'll lift one of the wheels yes. and reduce the contact patch on the ground. So if you're doing pickup work and you don't want to disturb you know, your alfalfa or yeah. your grass crop or whatever, it reduces the contact patch on the ground when you're turning. So we've, we're experts in tracks. We're experts in tracks on our machines. And uh, this is yet our next example of, of extending that knowledge and, and prowess into this machine. I was just going to ask you, is the track technology internal or do you uh, work with a partner? Yeah, in, in all cases except this one, uh, we do our own track system. We make all the components. Uh, with this one right now, we're going to be running this in a pre-series configuration next year and we've uh, gone with a local manufacturer here in Germany that we've worked with on other projects to provide us with this track system. Uh, but down the road, we'd like to look at, say, hey, you know, can we do it ourselves? Uh, but we really wanted to at least get this machine uh, out into the field more with a track configuration because that's what people were asking for. Well, nothing stirs up more debate amongst farmers across the world than tracks versus tires, but the demand for tracks uh, has to do with compaction? Uh, it has to do with a lot of things. Obviously, compaction is one of the big things, but when we start looking at different muddy conditions, I know that um, the harvest in Western Canada was less than ideal this, this fall, um, and so that's one, one thing. Um, but I think down the road, you're gonna see that as the manufacturers get better at this, and, and we've been really looking at this for a long time and are already there, one of the limitations before was road travel. So as we see a lot of farmers that have dispersed fields or whatever and have to go from field to field, there was a limitation, but thankfully with all of our track systems, that's one of the initial things that we looked at, is we don't want to lose the productivity in the field by la lack of productivity on the road. So it becomes a balance. Uh, new product, but when is it hitting the market? We'll actually have pre-series machines show showing up in US and Canada uh, in the summer of 2020, so next less than a year away. Well, pretty exciting, hey, Eric, thanks a lot. Hey, our pleasure.